Hi, welcome to my first draw with me. I'm so excited for this. I've literally been wanting to show my process on YouTube for the longest time. This is like a little bit of a condensed version because this drawing isn't as big as my usual ones, but I'm very excited. I did start it off, I was going to just make it a sketch, but I ended up liking the sketch so much I was like, I want to color this, so I'm very excited to show that today. Whenever I do referenced drawings, I don't necessarily try to make it look exactly like the reference. I like to have like a chill approach to it because I usually find that if I become extra in my head and I'm like, the eyes need to be perfect, the nose needs to look just like the drawing, it ruins the fun process of the art for me. So I do like to use references, but I don't really stress for it to look exactly like the person. So basically, I'm getting the basic sketch down first. I really loved her pose, and that's something that I really love to take from references as well. A lot of the time, if I'm just drawing from my mind, I find it hard to think of poses that look nice. I'll usually just do like a front-facing face, and it's a little bit, le it's a little boring, you know? So I definitely like to use references for that. So I just got the basic features down. I'm using my sketching brush um, that's available on my Gumroad. I'll go ahead and put that link in the description. I love this brush because I feel like whenever I'm drawing in Procreate, I'll struggle. Like when I first started drawing in Procreate, it was really, really hard for me to actually raw because the brushes were really interesting. I'd say the only brushes that I actually use from Procreate you'll probably be able to see throughout this process. It's usually what I'm coloring but when it comes to sketching I like to use my sketch brushes. So this is the end of the sketch, now I'm starting to color. I like to put the base color down first, so I'll use like a simple, I think this is like the hard brush on Procreate. I like to use that brush to just drop the colors down and this really helps with just organizing it. I know in the past I used to just go in and like start shading and everything first, but I definitely found that it's so much better to put your base colors down and then color more detailed after. Honestly, sometimes I really enjoy this part of the coloring process. It's pretty therapeutic and I just get to put the simple colors down and it kind of makes the drawing look a little bit more complete, so I love doing it. Here I'm using my favorite brush, Membrane. This is actually a brush that comes with Procreate. I love using this brush to map out the hair because it's creates like the perfect bristles to make the overall shape of hair. I love using it all the time. It's like the only one I use. And then I'm putting it on alpha lock because it allows me to just draw within the actual stuff that I had down on the layer. It's such a helpful tool. The other reason why it's very helpful to actually put the base colors down first because once you put it on alpha lock, everything you edit will be able to be within what you had put down as your base color. I hope that makes sense. So now I'm adding some simple colors. So this is a part of my process. After I'm done doing the base colors, I like to put, use the soft airbrush, any of them honestly, and I'll, since it's on alpha lock, it's not getting on the hair or anything. It's just going on the sections that I did. And I'll start adding some shadows using that. Now, I don't like to just keep it like this because I feel like it looks, it doesn't look textured enough for my liking. So after this stage, usually I'll go in with a more textured brush and you'll definitely get to see that too. First, I'll add the highlights, I'll add the shadows with this like softer brush just to start pushing the values. And this is like a bit new to my process. I honestly started doing this because it's less time consuming. The way I used to do it was I would first go in with like my very textured brush, but I found that it kind of takes more time and I'll be messing with colors for way longer than I have to. Something I tend to get asked a lot is how I improved 
my art or things of that sort and i have to say the best way to approach improving your art in my opinion is just having fun in the process and i know that sounds so cliche but what i mean is if you're drawing something that you enjoy a lot of the time you're gonna actually want to draw it more and it tricks yourself into practicing it more so for me a lot of my process for actually drawing was that I was in class bored and I was just sketching whatever I liked. I think if you approach art in a way where you're just like 100% trying to make everything perfect at first, it will be much harder. I don't know why I was drawing the eye like this. I decided to just choose the most complicated way to do that, but this was much better. I don't know why I decided to do that. I know whenever I'm trying to practice the fundamental like art stuff, like you know, doing gesture sketches and things of that sort, it's less like entertaining for me so I'll do art less when it comes to that. But I think it's better to find a good balance where you're doing art you enjoy while also trying to improve. And honestly sometimes you could just do art you enjoy and improve later, like <laughs> you don't have to pressure yourself to do the most when it comes to art and I think sometimes that's what people feel like they have to do. I know personally sometimes I'll get in my head, especially since I put my art on the internet, I'll get in my head about it and I'll be like, my art doesn't look as good as this person's or it's just not as enticing as this. And honestly, I realize it's such a waste of time to think about it like that. It's so much healthier to maybe look at your favorite artists and notice what elements you like about their art and maybe mimic it in your own. Of course, I'm not saying to completely copy their art style, but I know for me personally, if I'm looking at like um, Sam does art, I really like that his drawings tend to have a really saturated, nice look to them. So I'll go back and try to see, maybe I could try to make my art a little bit more saturated as well. So it's little things like that, that basically gives you like a healthy way of doing what you actually like to do instead of making yourself feel unmotivated or bad about your art. Art should always be something that kind of brings you joy in some way, shape, or form, whether that's through improving or through just doing something you enjoy. Alright, I'm adding the highlights and the drawing is now complete. Thank you so much for watching and comment a heart if you made it to the end.